When Betty Bland Thomas walks around historic Sharp Leaden Hall, she sees a place filled with stories. A place that's past is just as important as its present. It's an awesome feeling because I know some of the rich history. But it also brings about some sadness because only a few people know about this rich history. Miss Betty, as she's known in the community, moved into her house in historic Sharp Leaden Hall 25 years ago. She started sweeping the streets, meeting her neighbors, and learning the history behind the place she calls home. Historic Sharp Leaden Hall was established in 1790 by formerly enslaved African Americans and German immigrants. It became the home of the Baltimore Abolitionist Society, the first of its kind in the South and the third in the country. Here was an opportunity to still be together and to meet, even though it was illegal. The neighborhood was also home to several influential churches, including Ebenezer AME, the city's oldest standing church, and Sharp Street Church, where a group of ministers founded what is now Morgan State University. But in the midst of the accomplishments that make up the neighborhood's history, there's also painful parts of the past. In the 1960s, highway projects that later changed led to displacement of community members and demolition of community structures. Development and gentrification continue to change the fabric of the community over the years. So as I learned about the history and what happened to other people, you know, I was moved by that, and yet they still stayed. And yet now here I am, you know, as well. Is it too late? But if you're a community like ours, where everything that was once historic had been demolished for development, it becomes most important that whatever you have that is historic now, that you try to preserve it. So Miss Betty has made that her mission. She helped push leaders to make the neighborhood a historic district. She regularly goes to planning meetings for proposed developments to make sure the plans are equitable. And she keeps the history of historic Sharp Leaden Hall alive through lecture series and guided walking tours. So here is another historic site here on Sharp Street. Showing people what's left of some of the major historic buildings and sharing their stories. If we don't always have the physical structure, we have our stories. Let's tell our stories. A lot of people don't know. But Miss Betty hopes her work helps more people know so that when you walk around historic Sharp Leaden Hall, you see a place that's past is intertwined with its present. I hope they walk away with history of this place, you know, and how important this history has been, and particularly to the Afro-American culture. I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL-TV 11 News.